Back in the reset vector section, we saw how an x86 processor's reset vector is the physical address 7f's followed by a zero, so four gigabytes minus 16 bytes. That's the location where the processor fetches the first assembly instruction to run from the BIOS from the spy flash chip. Now, the fact that this address can exist in you know, physical memory, but actually be translated down to the BIOS spy flash chip means there must be some sort of hardware decoding going on so that when the CPU tries to fetch the assembly instruction, it reroutes and redirects the thing down to the spy flash chip. So what if I told you that we could actually see and slightly control this sort of physical memory to spy flash chip mapping? Well, we can, and we're going to fiddle with some registers now in order to see a little bit about how we can control that and what we can't control about that. Now, originally I had this material in the reset vector section, but because of the vagaries of how Intel has changed the location of where some of these magic bits are that I'm just going to point you at, uh, we had to wait until you understood uh, which particular chipset and CPU you had. So there's going to be different people with different generation of chipsets. We'll have to look at different locations. So I needed to make sure you understood that notion first before I give you different some different instructions for different people. Now we'll come back to this later in the class and it'll make even more sense then. But for now, I just kind of want to show you, uh, you know, poking some magic register bits and having some sort of behavior. So first I have to give you a little bit of history about why this is where it is on some particular chipsets. So if you look at older Intel documentation, you would see references to the firmware hub. And the firmware hub was the previous location where the BIOS was stored. It was a particular non-volatile storage chip and it existed on the low pin count bus. So LPC is just a low pin count, meaning a small number of pins and a relatively slow bus used for accessing hardware. So back in the data sheets for these older systems, there was this thing called firmware hub decode enable, and it talked about the low pin count bus device internal to the hardware. So if we instead look at a more modern data sheet, we will see that the exact same information exists, but now it's called BIOS decode enable rather than firmware hub. It exists in the same location. It's on the LPC device that we talked about when we we're talking about chipsets but we don't yet fully understand how PCI works and what sort of address encoding is going on here. That's why this is gonna make more sense to you later on after we cover PCI. But the key thing that I wanna point out is that despite the fact that the BIOS is now on a spy flash chip, this decoding information is still just in the same location in the LPC hardware device for legacy reasons. So what exactly is in this information that's interesting to us? Well, there's a bit 15 that has to do with the decoding of a 512 kilobyte uh, BIOS range. And specifically that range is three Fs, eight and four zeros, all the way up to all Fs. So the end of the four gigabyte range. So basically what it's saying is when you have this set to one, then it will decode physical addresses like this into the end of the spy flash chip. Similarly, this next bit 14 down here, if this is set to one, then it'll decode three Fs and five zeros all the way up to three Fs, seven and four Fs. Uh, and those sort of physical address ranges will be decoded into the next 512 block of the BIOS flash chip. Now, the important thing to recognize here is that actually on this bit, it says it's read only, and therefore you can't actually flip it to zero. You know, Despite the fact that it shows zero and says it can be disabled, you can't actually flip it to zero. But this bit 14, you can, it says it's read write. So if we go in and we poke this bit and we set it to zero, we would expect that addresses in this range, which previously the hardware was automatically decoding, attempts to access those physical memory ranges. It would reroute those down to the spy flash chip. Now, if we disable this by setting it to zero, they'll just decode to nothing at all. So that's what we're gonna do in this next lab. We're just gonna you know, go in, find the right locations. You know, you'll understand it more in later on once you understand PCI. But we're just gonna go and poke those bits and see that all of a sudden these physical address ranges disappear. Now, this is the, the part that I wanted to say that you know, we had to understand which chipset you're using because uh, Intel has actually moved where these decode bits are. So for people who are running uh, nine series PCHs and earlier, you're going to be looking at you know, one particular thing, the LPC device. For people running 100 series chipsets and later, 
you're going to be looking at a different thing, the spy device. So Intel added a dedicated spy device, which takes over some of the stuff that was in the LPC device for legacy reasons uh, and puts it in the more appropriate location because you're actually using spy flash chips. So this is just a different device 31 function five, but I'll give you the exact commands so that depending on which chipset you have, you should run a different set of commands and look at a different location in order to disable and toggle this bit 14 in order to stop the decoding of that range. So let's go ahead and start the lab.